Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. This is our first live show. Man. Yeah. This, Here we are. This is the, I mean, technically the first official. This is the first official show. The guys yeah. next door. Yeah. So right now this will be loaded onto the website, YouTube page for the radio station. And we'll be able to just upload that up rather than all this kind of editing yeah, and concocting yeah. I've been doing up to this point. So no, uh, yeah. You are for real now. You'll be on their, on their website as a radio show and everything. Wow. It's like I'm growing up. You are growing yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. Not you, mature, but grown up. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. So, yeah. Here so we are. like the, the deep guy voice said earlier, mm-hmm. this is The Guys Next Door. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, Ron Arenas, and my great friend and co-host, Pastor John McLean. Man, that's an honor to be called that, my friend. Yeah. 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 Well, we, we've done some good stuff together. Yeah, we We're, we're going to do a lot more. Like, I feel like my relationship with you, it feels a lot like my wife. Like, me and my wife, we're actually, we have tomorrow is our two-year wedding anniversary. Oh, you wow. You would never guess it, but two-year wedding anniversary tomorrow. But, uh, but when well, she happy to- anniversary. Yeah, thank you. And yeah. when she told me it was coming, that which she has to remind me <laughs> always, um, she was like, yeah, it's, 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 we've been married for two years. And I was like... Two years? You mean twenty years? <laughs> like it feels like we've been through so much, and I feel that same way with you. Where it's just like, uh, how yeah. have we only known each other as as little as we have? Because it's feel like we've been working on things forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was like an instant gravitational pull towards yeah. each other. Yeah, for sure. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting me part be part of your team. Brother. Yeah, yeah. We're blessed. Mm-hmm. So today on this week's show, we have one of my really good friends, Mickey Bachelier, from. People's Mortgage. Mm. Welcome, hey. Mickey. Hey guys, thanks. To, uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, this, is, this is cool. Talk into the mic right here. Oh, there, thanks there for having me go. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing I like to tell the the guests is that you're talking actually to the mic. You're not talking to us. Which um, gotcha. <laughs> Ron is really engaging. People just want to leave the mic and just <laughs> stare into his <laughs> eyes. But um, <laughs> nope. No, I appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah, yeah. You know. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm, you are a loan officer for a retail broker. Can you tell us what the difference is between a loan officer at a bank and a retail broker? Yes. So I'm a loan officer um, with People's Mortgage, a retail uh, broker. I, I would say the, the big difference between the uh, uh, loan officer and a retail broker is at a bank is the bank um, the bank, bank loan officer is covered underneath the, um, the bank's umbrella. Mm. Whereas a retail broker, you have to have a state and national license, mm-hmm. okay. which I have, and they don't they don't have to have that. Right. Okay. So, so as as a bank mortgage loan officer, they pretty much just have the products that the bank offers. Exactly their products, their rates. Um, where I I partner with over thirty banks and I have a lot of different products to offer um, my customers. Right. So, so you can that, you can fit different needs for different people. Yeah. 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 Depending on your, their situation, credit scores. Um, debt to income ratios, things like that. Right. So, nice. Aside from the variety of, of kind of products, what would you say differentiates you from the other um, um, mortgage brokers that are are out there? Well, uh, People's Mortgage is a, a is a, a you know na- almost nationwide. Uh, we serve in thirty nine states, and um, I would say our ability to to shop interest rates for people versus just going to a regular bank, mm. you're going to get going to put your information we're going to put your information in in the system and then then 30 different banks are going to going to come up and hmm. you're going to get the best interest rates nice. on the market for that day um so i would say that's the major difference that's what's the cool. biggest difference yeah. that's cool and we've all heard about the interest rates and how they've gone up mm-hmm. the past couple of years so are the rates starting to come down yes so october uh 2023 is when we hit that spike um you know i was seeing interest rates at you know, eight and a quarter, eight and a half interest rates have come down since then. And not only have they have they come down, but the cost of interest rates have come down as well. So I would say right now with a good credit score and, you know, a lot of different factors. Right. Um, you're 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 going to see mid to high six, six APR. OK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, that's a lot better than it's eight. a lot better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. A lot better. And the cost of the rate themselves is better. So. Right, so it can help people get more of a house for yeah. for the same oh, price. Yeah, for the same uh, right now. Yeah. monthly. Mm-hmm. And the, the federal the federal government has also uh, shown that they will be they will be lowering the you know the interest rates this year. So 
are forecasted to drop the rates like three times. So. Okay. Well, around that notion, and, and I think we're talking about well, you. You were on the segment of the Common Good Radio Show where we're talking to Leah and yeah. Matt, and we we're talking about how. You know, when I first bought my house in July, I was saying that I'm going to wait till October till the rates went down. Because, you know, with COVID, it, like, that's when the rates really started going wild. But the ne- the rates really n- didn't come down, at least not till now. Does it seem like it's starting to, to look down? Should people wait to buy or uh, should they still buy now? I think right now is one of the best times to buy because uh, the, the, the sellers are giving a lot of incentives. Uh, to pay closing costs right now. Mm-hmm. So it's not as competitive as it, it was. And so when it gets really competitive, the sellers tend to not want to negotiate or buy or, or, or offer those credits mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. to buyers. So mm-hmm. right now is definitely a good time to at least get, you know, get yourself pre-qualified. Um, it's very important to get pre-qualified up front. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I would say that's one of the most important things to do, especially if you're wanting to wanting to make an offer today you find the house and you can't do it you might you may lose the house because you're not pre-qualified so yeah definitely. you need to know how much you're qualified yeah. for and that how way you can go find that that house that's in your price range mm, your payments down payments closing costs all that mm-hmm. yep. right yeah and i want to think the other benefit um other than i didn't even think of that but that is brilliant how there's so many you know the sellers are going to make concessions that they wouldn't be making when they have more competitive buyers but also you get the rate you have now I think a, a, a term I've heard throughout the years is you date the rate, you marry mar- marry the something, you know, where it's like, yeah. okay, you get the rate you have now, but then refinance later mm-hmm. once the rates go down. Definitely. And that that's the thing is you can always refin- refinance later. So if you get locked in now, you get your closing costs, you know, from the sellers and then one year, two years down the road if, as interest rates continue to drop, then we can just do it. Uh, a rate and term refinance or maybe even a little cash cash back right mm. once you get you know. some equity in yeah there. once you yeah. get some equity some cash back and your payment may stay the same or even drop a little right so you're in a, uh, you're involved in a program called VA rep could you tell us about that yes yeah, so VA rep stands for uh, veterans association of real estate professionals mm. and before COVID um, we had a local chapter here in Tucson and as you know, COVID kind of messed up a lot of things for yeah. a lot of people. So uh, I kind of, it kind of, you know, kind of fell out. But right. um, this Thursday, we're having a, a, a new launch meeting to, nice. to start our local chapter up again. And basically it's, it's offering resources for veterans um, to, to educate them on their benefits on home buying. A lot mm. of veterans don't know what okay. the benefits are. That's a fact. You know, yeah. so yeah. I, I love working with veterans. Um, you know, it's zero down. It's a zero down mm-hmm. program. Um, there are closing costs, but like I said, right now, if you negotiate, you could come, you, you know, a veteran could c- potentially come in with no money. Yeah. Right. And having and, and having bought a house in July of 2020 using my VA loan, which thankfully I had a, a, a good mortgage lender. Not, unfortunately, not you, but I had a good <laughs> por- mortgage lender that hunted down my certificate of Eligibility, eligibility, yeah. which I didn't even think I had, and made it so, like you said, zero money down. I did have to pay a couple few grand mm-hmm. to close, but that in the comparison to twenty, thirty grand that I would have had to put down on my, you know, ha- dream house, oh, five yeah. bedroom dream house, is you know is, is not right. in comparison. Right, and, and there's no mortgage insurance either, so never mortgage insurance on VA loans. Oh so. wow, and that's big. So yeah, a lot of there's just a lot of good. Um, I think it's probably the best best loan program on the market. Really. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I, I like on, on the packet that you showed us, uh, the first point in there is hosting events to educate and counsel veterans on financial literacy, sustainable home, on, home, home ownership, and foreclosure homeless prevention. Yes. So that's one of the, that's one of the things this organization does is we educate the veterans and, um, on you know fi- with financial with workshops through workshops and financial literacy to help them understand and um, get them excited about you know the future yeah definitely yeah that's awesome so i guess before we uh, jump into the break let our listeners know how they can get a hold of you and how they can plug in with you yeah so mike you i mean you can text me call me my contact's 520-360-1559 um, and my email is mickey b at peoplesmortgage.com so Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mickey, for joining us, brother. 
Thank you. This is The Guys Next Door, brought to you by Picture Rocks Cooling, Heating, and Plumbing. I am Pastor John McClain, here with Ron Arenas with Picture Rocks Cooling, Heating, and Plumbing. We definitely invite you to go to commongoodmediagroup.com to get more information about not only The Guys Next Door, but all the awesome shows that are part of the Common Good Block, airing every Sunday on 1030 The Voice from 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Here you are right in the, the midst of it. We'll be back right after the break. You guys stay there and stay beautiful and keep your mittens tight all right we are back so we talked a little bit about mortgage let's talk about some fun stuff Mm. not that mortgage isn't fun it's kind of fun it's fun once you have a house but like the process yeah Yeah. that's why we have guy like mickey that's right that's why you hire a professional Mm -hmm. to get that job done because he will get that job done for you thank you Mickey. yes yes. been doing it for 15 years now yeah yeah so Mickey and I had a, a breakfast the other day. Okay. And we w- went over to Laverna's. I don't know if you've ever been to Laverna's. I don't think so. Okay. I miss, and I missed it, huh? Yeah, you missed it. We'll, we'll have to go out to there. Okay. That's that's like a little hidden gem oh, really? in Tucson. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I bet you cool. know a lot of those. So I look forward to finding. Yeah. Finding yeah. Them. There's there's going to be a lot of breakfasts and lunches that Laverna's. we'll have to go okay. out. Yeah. Laverna's. Let's not to give them too much promotion, but Laverna's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, it was, that, that place was awesome. It, it had that hometown feel to it. And, uh, the homemade chorizo was excellent. Mm, yeah. Homemade chorizo, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was fantastic. Man. Yeah, <laughs> I had the, I had the, bu- the burrito. So okay, it was good. nice with yeah. like eggs. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm. the chorizo burrito was amazing. Yeah. So okay, it was it, all, all made in house. Yeah, said. Yeah, so, and yeah it, I it wasn't was, mad at you guys before, but now. I'm <laughs> <there>. <laughs> and as always, I mean, we're always trying to find the little local places to mm-hmm. eat at, mm-hmm. eat at, drink at. You mm-hmm. know, just spend your money local. Yeah. That's what it's all about, you know. For this sure. is our community, and we need to take care of it. Yeah, and and in this, I mean, we are blessed to have an amazing local food community to patron. I mean, pro- one of the best in the world, they say. So yeah, yeah mm-hmm. enjoy definitely. Mm-hmm. So something that we have in common, Mickey and I, and how we met is smoking food. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Mickey, you have a great story about your youth and your love for being behind the grill. Can you tell us about your uh, love for smoking and grilling? Yeah. So. Uh, about uh, about 10 years old, I was hanging out at my cousin's house, and all the cousins were there, and uh, my uncle had a house in Catalina, and the dogs were running around, and um, and everybody was having fun, but my, my uncle was getting the grill ready, and I, I just remember, I remember the time I, I looked over, and the coals were just glowing hot, and mm. I, after that, I stopped playing with my cousins, I, I stood by <laughs> my uncle, like, the whole time, he showed me how to prepare the patties, how to spice them, spice them up, and after that, I was hooked. So yeah. I was always so hanging the, out. It initiated with that pyro in you, yeah, yeah. and it went to a good place. Go. Go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So after that, I was always around the grills with my uncle, um, waiting for my <coughs> waiting for my turn. You know. So right. And now, um, like Ron said, we uh, we help uh, we help out a local guy Val Romero at Arizona, a mm. uh, 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 grill and hearth, do a smoking class. Um, once a month, right? Once a month, yeah. So we met there about mm-hmm. five years ago. Um, I was in the second class that he ever had. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we might and have been in the same class. I think class. we're in the same yeah. class, yeah. yeah. And then after that, you started helping out. Yep. Yeah, I never left after that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it, it's a great class. We were talking about food bringing everyone together mm-hmm. on uh, on Wes's show mm-hmm. earlier. Yeah. And, and that's what it is. And through the class... We're, we're preparing foods and Val's showing everyone how to prepare the foods, how mm. to smoke the foods, mm-hmm. but then we're also eating them together and mm. we're tasting each other's creations. Mm-hmm. What was the what was the dish that you guys had at that first class? Do you remember? Oh, it was everything. Yeah, Rib- yeah. I, I, we do, do ribs. We do uh, tri-tip. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think we did the uh, the beer can chicken back then. No. No. I think we were doing uh, chicken thighs. But yeah, they, it, we mix it up sometimes. I mean, sometimes it's I'll fun to watch you guys reminisce. Over the <laughs> 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 beef, beef ribs. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. So you just—I mean, it sounds delicious. Whatever oh, yeah. it is, it is. It's yeah. uh, it's from eight thirty to three, um, once a month on a Saturday. Okay. Our next one's coming on um, next Saturday. Yeah, next this, Saturday. This yep. six days from now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. And we could actually say it that comfortably now because we yeah. record the show live. Right, right. Yeah. It's and, a live show. Definitely, <laughs> if you want to talk to us, call 790-2040. That's 790-2040 if you want to talk about smoking. But, um, yeah, so it's coming Thursday, you said. It's right? coming Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. yeah. 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 Saturday. So if you're interested in the class, there's still openings. Mm. And it's just, it's a blast. You get to 
prepare all the food, and then as the day goes by and things start being ready to eat, mm -hmm. we get to consume it. Yeah. And everyone gets to try each other's. You know, some nice. people like it a little bit sweeter. Some people like it a little bit saltier or spicy. Or spicy. Mm. Yeah. It just sounds so delicious. It but is. thankfully, we just finished the Tucson Tasty Show, and I got to eat something there. So this doesn't make <laughs> my mouth water too much. But it's definitely making my mouth water. And, and this makes me kind of think of, I'm guessing you both, like you, you tell the story, Mikey, or Mickey, sorry, um, about your your kind of origin how you got into it mm -hmm. but what made you sign up for this class that had you meet this amazing man named ron arenas and vice versa well, i actually yeah. saw i actually saw it on facebook and so i just signed up for it i i went to the class and i wanted to get a little bit more more experience uh on on grilling and smoking so that's how i got into it and then like i said after that i never left i just kept on volunteering and now ron's you know me and ron are are helping each other out and creating some really good stuff and upping our upping our game in the yeah in the in the grill world. Nice. Yeah, yeah, and you can take it several times and always mm -hmm. learn something something, something that someone else is doing mm -hmm. or yeah. Mm -hmm. well, um, same I, question to you, Ron. Okay, all right. Um, well, I knew Val Romero. Um, I was in Sa I was in Saba with him and Miranda Chamber of Commerce mm. and maybe even another group with him. Okay. So I followed him on social media and mm. I think I saw his his class come up on social media and mm. I wanted to up my game. Yeah. yeah definitely. So you you would you consider yourself an adamant griller prior to the class or do you think the class has really changed your world? Grilling, yes. Yeah, I've always grilled all the time. I mean, there's but the smoking, but the so smoking, much. I did it. Same. Mm. I would agree with yeah. you on that. Yeah. It really helped the the s smoking smoking aspect yeah you mm -hmm. have that curiosity and yeah. you don't quite know what to do or how to prepare things or mm -hmm. for how long mm -hmm. and so you get all those details in that class and we, they tell you about that it's never how long it's to what temperature exactly Interesting. So if you get anything out of the class it's not how long it takes to cook something it's the internal temperature yep. of the meat itself yep so you know fill me in this, this layman here that i don't grill or smoke <laughs> Realistic. I don't do either. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys. Sorry. Um, what's the difference? And what I mean, what's the difference in the process? What's the difference in the taste and the flavor? Like, what's the difference? Well, grilling is just like kind of you're grilling your hamburgers in the backyard. You mm -hmm. know, hamburgers, steak, hot chicken, and fast. hot yeah. and fast. Yeah. Okay. And it could be charcoal. It could be over mesquite wood, gas. or it could be gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then smoking. Smoking. You could do um, over actual wood. Or you can have a pellet smoker. Okay. Um, but it's it's a longer process. It, it's slow. It's a lower temperature and a, a longer process. Yeah, low and mm. slow. Yeah, low, and, low slow. and slow. You want that that um, smoke to soak into your your meat or mm. or whatever you're smoking, mm -hmm. and that way you get that taste. And what's and what's the taste differential between something that's grilled versus something that's smoked? Well, you can actually you can actually combine them. They, there's a there's a technique called um, reverse sear. So the first part of the process is um, preparing, say, tri the tri tip. Tri tip's my favorite meat to smoke, and it doesn't take that long. So a tri tip you can you can put in the smoker for about you know twenty thirty minutes, and mm. it's almost ready. So after you take it out of the smoker, then then there's a technique called the reverse sear, is where you sl then slap it on the grill to create that char. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you got that smoky flavor from, you got the smoky flavor from you know the smoking it, and then once you hit hit it on the grill, you got the that char from the grill, right? Mm -hmm. And that just just layers of flavor on top of layers mm -hmm. of flavor. So you're a grill and smoke type of guy. Yes. Okay. For if, sure. If I what can about smoke you, it Ron? and grill it? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It, probably most of the time weekdays I'm grilling, and then on the weekends when I have a little bit more time, then I'm smoking. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. And that's something. Would you say something you'd say you do like weekly, biweekly type? Probably biweekly for the smoking and grilling. Probably a couple times a week at least. What about you, Mickey? Same. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are just that, like yeah. you guys are in it. This is <laughs> your part of that lifestyle. Yeah. 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 Definitely interesting. Would you say the class kind of promotes that? Like there's a community mm -hmm. among you among that class. There is. Yeah. There is, and people come back to the class, or people exchange numbers, or social media addresses, mm -hmm. and. They'll share what they're doing or different recipes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, nice. it's really cool. Well, what is your favorite food to smoke? I guess we'll flip that back and forth as well. So, uh, well, like I said, it was the that's the tri tip for me. I love the okay. tri tip. Yeah. It's just so versatile, easy, fast. 
Ron, what would you think? I'm a little bit more adventurous. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I, I have done a, a lot of different things, um, tried a lot of different things. I, I've done, uh, my kids really like the smoked apples. Mm. It, it's almost like apple pie feeling. Okay. But it has that smoky taste on it too. Mm. Um, I've done cherry cobbler. I do mac and cheese. I do a fantastic mac and cheese. Okay. Yeah, that sounds really good. I'll I ruin you forever because you won't oh, be able really? to eat mac okay, and cheese ever. Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I love mac and cheese. Yeah. yeah. I need that recipe. Yeah. yeah we'll do it. Um, but yeah, and then everything else. I, I do salmon and I do uh, ribs mm-hmm. and tri-tip. What if someone's going to make something for you? What is it? What would you, what do you like that's like, that's, that's my thing. Um, and something someone's making it for me. Uh-huh. M- maybe ribs. Yeah, ribs. yeah. Val that from Arizona mm. Grill and Hearth, his ribs are just spot on mm. every time. Mm-hmm. Like they're perfect. Like yeah. just the c- the cook is perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the cook, the char, the, the technique, technique. Yeah, yeah, the flavors. Just yeah. hey, he's done um, different events at his place. Like mm. Miranda Chamber of Commerce has had networking events mm. there, and Saba has also, and he's cooked a bunch of food for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And just everything is spot on. Before COVID, we were competing. So yeah, we did it with uh, we were competing with uh, Tucson Grill Masters and uh, under the Chris, Tucson Grill Masters, and we we won first place nice. uh, for our ribs. So that's so, cool. So we're looking into competing some more this year. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. talked about competing. Yeah. So we're we're gonna get into that too. That's cool. That sounds like a Tucson Tasty Show type production. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. That's cool, man. Man, I feel like I know so little, but know so much. I feel like I have a thousand more questions, but unfortunately, we only have like thirty five seconds to ask them. But um, right. Um, I guess how would you say your love for grilling ties in for the rest of your work that you do, and, um, and kind of the connections you've made, and uh, maybe the lending world. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it, it, like, like Ron said earlier, it brings people together and I just, I, I love sharing, um, I love sharing my food with people. So I would say that's, that's how I tie it, to, I tie it all together is by serving others and preparing the food. Yeah. And Mickey and I have talked several times cause we both help out at the classes and it's, it's almost like therapy for us. Mm-hmm. I can see that. It's like we're, going fishing. Mm, yeah. It gives you that yeah. same feeling. We're you know? out nice. there. We're, we're preparing the meats. We're checking the temperatures. You know, we're doing mm. all that stuff. So. Nice. Well, yeah. Mickey, how can people get a hold of you if they want to want to check out um, some lending services or maybe they're a vet that needs some education? Yeah. Um, like I said, you can contact, uh, text me or call me on my on my personal line, 520-360-1559, 520-360-1559, or shoot me an email at Mickey B at people's mortgage.com. And I'd love to answer any questions you guys have. And even if you're, if you're looking to any questions you have about smoking meats. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mickey. Thank you. And that's the first show of the guys next door. Yeah, we did it, man. Yeah, we did it. That went by really quick. Yeah. It was exciting. So what's your, your line that you say as we close? I don't know what's my line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Keep your shoes on, you're <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>